Hello my most amazing artists. Today we're going to be talking about something called a sketchbook. A sketchbook is a place that artists can draw, paint, write, practice, all kinds of things. It doesn't have to be perfect. All famous artists had a sketchbook. No artist just started out on a giant painting without practicing first. Even famous artists, no matter how much practice they've already had and how great they are at art, they always need to practice in a sketchbook. So today we're making sketchbooks for the year. You're gonna get to choose your color paper. Make sure you're thinking about if you want red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or purple. Next, you're gonna have construction paper crayons, markers, colored pencils, Sharpies, and pencils to use today. When you get your big piece of paper, the first step is to fold it in half. When you're folding something in half, you wanna match up the edges and then press down on that side. But always make sure those edges are lined up before you press down that crease. After you do that, your sketchbook has to have your name on it. I would incorporate your name somehow creatively. So I'm doing bubble letters, and I do that by just outlining the letters of my name. So I kind of sketched it out first for my sketchbook cover, and then went and around and outlined each of it. Now I'm gonna erase that original line that I made, and it's gonna turn into bubble letters. Next, I use a Sharpie to outline. Now remember, you wanna make sure that you're working in pencil first, and then Sharpie. If you feel like you don't need to erase, like I'm doing right now, I don't mind if you draw with Sharpie. But keep in mind, this is the only sketchbook cover that you'll get. If you do make a mistake, let's turn it into a happy accident. There's no such things as mistakes in art. So even I make a few of those, and you probably can't even tell because I went ahead and just turned it into something else. So I'm filling in all of my space. I'm using a Sharpie, that way the lines are really clear and it stands out. But the most important thing is that it's got my name on there. So somehow that you incorporate your name and then whatever you love, if you love unicorns, if you love art, if you love rainbows, if you love sports, if you love surfing, if you love the beach, draw that on your sketchbook cover. If you don't want to draw something that's a real object or people, if you're not into realistic drawing, then go ahead and just design it. Add your favorite colors, draw some polka dots, draw some stripes. Whatever you draw today will be just fine. Everything that you make, every mark is art. So this is going to be your sketchbook for the year. So make sure that it's something that you think you'll like all year long. So that means that if you're into a certain game right now that you might not like the same amount at the end of the year, you might want to think about doing something that you've always loved. So that might be a sport or the beach, or maybe you just really love cats, or you can't decide and you want to draw it all like I am. I'm filling in my space with something called zentangling. That's making lots of lines and designs to fill in space. That's really going to make an impact when I show you the sketchbook from far away. It's really going to fill that space and make my name stand out. Now to color, I'm going to use a variety. I'm using a little bit of marker. I might use Use some crayons but then I have a new special crayon today and those crayons that I have are construction paper crayons you'll see them on the right side of there on the screen I'm about to pick them up and use them because they actually work way better than markers on this type of paper they're called construction paper crayons because they're made for this type of paper so they show up really bright and are really fun to work with they look even better than markers when you're finished so if especially if you need to draw any white on there and you don't have a white marker you should probably use that crayon I'm adding some highlights to make it look a little bit more realistic with that crayon, but I'm filling in all my space. So if I ran out of time today, that's fine. If I don't get to finish, I can go back and color this any other time in art. Your sketchbook is gonna be a place where we get to record our ideas, we get to practice drawings, practice before we start paintings, or maybe you're just done early and you wanna draw inside your sketchbook. So your sketchbook is this place that you can come back to. It is absolutely yours. It's for your ideas, it's about what you like. So make sure that you like what you're gonna draw on it. If you do happen to make a mistake that you can't fix, then you're always gonna be able to start again on the other side. So I can turn it inside out, fold it, and then bam, I have a brand new cover to work with. There is no throwing out papers in art. You get one piece, and because we're gonna need to work quickly so that you can come up and staple them and we get our papers in there. You're gonna have lots of paper to work with this year. Just make sure that if you do finish and get your paper stapled in there, that you write your class code somewhere on the cover so I don't mix them up. Another thing we gotta write is our class code and name on our self-portraits. Those are gonna go in our sketchbook after they're shown on display. All right, artists, have fun creating today.